See Return from the Ashes tomorrow night at 8.30 on 4. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. The NBC Television Network presents... Concentration! Today, one of our games is designed especially for the outdoor sportsman, and the game is topped by a speedboat. And now, here's our good sport, Bob Clayton! Uh, I don't know whether it's the first or the second game, but all sorts of outdoor things. As Wayne said, with the speedboat and, and, you know, barbecues and things like that. So we'll see who wins what. Right now, let's meet our first two players. Beginning with our current champion, a practical nurse, Miss Joan Bertzell. And returning for a rematch, the mother of four children, Mrs. Mary Ann Day. Just very briefly, if you were with us yesterday, you know that at the end of the show, there was some, uh, there was a reasonable doubt, as we, as we said. We listened to the tape and uh, found out that uh, there was reasonable doubt in Joan's answer, and we had awarded her the prizes in the game, which we're not going to take away from her, but we thought it only fair to bring Mary Ann back for another, uh, for a rematch. So we'll do that in just a moment. Right now, let us watch this. <laughs> It is said that in space may lie answers to questions that mystify mankind. Questions about the nature of the universe, its boundaries, man's role in it. Maybe so. But right or wrong, the irresistible challenge has drawn human beings on the first steps outward. With technical ingenuity, with remarkable teamwork, men have three times navigated space to land upon another world. Soon, a fourth visit, the most ambitious one that will include a ride along the moon's surface in this interplanetary dune buggy. And while they explore, we watch through the technical ingenuity and teamwork of earthbound men and women. Here at NBC News, we've consistently presented the most complete coverage of man's journeys into space. And now we're ready again for Apollo 15, from launch to splashdown. First reports Monday morning on the Today Show. Okay, we're all set to go. And of course, Marianne, being on my left, will call the first two numbers. Nine. There's the speedboat that Wayne was talking about right 22. off the bat. Twenty-two. Maybe that's a match. No, that's a forfeit. And it's Jones' turn. Seventeen. Forfeit. Twenty-two. Sure. No harm. Get rid of it. Look at the first two parts of the puzzle, Joan. Tell us what it says. It is still your turn. Six. Nineteen. And take and a forfeit are not a match. Mary Ann. Thirteen. A trail bike. Twenty-four. Those are nice. And a messy <laughs> kit. <laughs> Joan. Three. Scuba gear. Eighteen. And a wild card, okay. The self-contained underwater breathing apparatus will go on your side. Joan, look at the next two parts of the puzzle. No, there's not much there. Two more. Nine. Speedboat. Uh, 20. Maybe. Oh, boy. Joan, it's on your side. Look at these two puzzle parts. What does it say? On a clear day, you can see forever. You sure can. But that couldn't be more wrong. Two more. Uh, 16. 7. Forfeit and take. Does not make a match. Marianne. 15. A tent peg. 29. <laughs> and a campfire.